you know, I would say the way to improve your writing skills is to write. You know, no matter what level or how happy you may be with your writing, just write. And write, and, you know, and even if you discard 90% of it, there'll be a nugget of something and you'll be improving your craft. But of course there are good books to read. You know, there are very good film, I mean, you know, there are plenty of film writing books out there, which are good. I mean, you know, films aren't that different from writing for comics, really. A lot of the rules apply. Um, but comic-wise, Titan did a series of interview with comic creator books. Uh, one is called Writers on Comic Script Writing. The other one is called Artists on Comic Art. And they're really good because rather than an author telling you how to do it, it's just the writers and artists talking about how they approach a comic script, how they approach the artwork, how they approach the story. And those are, the, I think, you know, those are the most useful things, just listening to people talking about you know, how they do it, rather than somebody trying to tell you blanketly how to write a script or draw a comic page, because there is no one way, no one right way of doing it. But you can glean a lot of useful information from you know, a lot of different creators you know, talking about their craft. I, I find sometimes it takes me five or six sentences and then I'll read something, for example, like you've done it, for one sentence, it just captures that entire essence. Yeah, I mean, comics is a strange one because you have got to be very, very concise. You know, there's no room for, you know, excess baggage in comics. You know, the general rule of thumb is that if you've got more than 20 words in a speech balloon, you've got too much, or a panel, or, you know, I mean, that's not a hard and fast rule, but it's worth remembering because, you know, the last thing you want is to bury all Nick's wonderful artwork under, you know, sort of 600 word balloons. You know, comics is a visual medium, so your job as a writer with comics is to almost complement the artwork and not clutter the page. So, you know, you have got to be quite economic with your, you know, even, I mean, even sort of, I would say, not just dialogue, but actually how you construct a comic strip page. You know, Alan Moore is famously very, very dense with his scripts. He, he absolutely will look at every kind of tiny thing in the panel, which is wonderful in one way, but for the artist can be quite limiting as well and, and laborious to, to actually sort of translate that to the comic page. So, you know, my, my favorite story is that John Wagner, you know, when he was writing Judge Dredd scripts, would just say, Dredd stands, Dredd on bike, you know, and he would never, you know, give much more than that and leave it to the artist, you know, and let the dialogue and the, the story, you know, guide the artist in terms of what needed to be in each panel. He very rarely ever called shots. You know, your job sometimes is like a film director to say close up, mid shot, you know, over the shoulder angle, whatever you want. But, you know, you can just, you know, if you trust your artist, you can cut out all that from your script and just, you know, give the most basic what each panel needs to accomplish.